Greetings and hallucinations to all you folks out there. I've got a speed run for you. Haven't done one of these in quite a while, but this game merits a special occasion. This is a fantastic replay, one of the best one versus ones that I've seen in a very long time, and it is absolutely hysterical. It happened about 20 minutes ago. The replay is passing around Aeolus, and I thought, man, I have got to cast this and get it up on YouTube so everybody else can enjoy it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this and see what happens. The opponents are the Red Viper on the left, taking Red Cybran. And this guy is actually in my clan, member of Vor, so whoop whoop. And Lextock on the right. This is UEF in the vibrant blue that comes with ladder. Lextock is an 1879 rated player. Red Viper is 1684, so relatively close. The map is Winter Duel. Now this map is... I cannot decide about this map. It is a set of choke points. It is very, very, very tiny. Like... I don't know, maybe two kilometers across and one wide, if that. There are a handful of mass extractors, and any little bit of mass can tip the game in either player's favor. Reclaim is vital. Movement patterns are vital. There is very little room for error, but it can lead to some really hilarious situations. Now, right off the bat, I noticed that Lextock has a ton of land factories queued, more than he could possibly use because there's just not that much mass here. So I think he is going to end up overbuilding factories, but maybe he'll get some good unit production out of it if he turns all of his reclaim, 100% of it, into tanks. Maybe that will save him. And then on the left, we're seeing a much more reasonable two land factory build, going for power, the hydro, and just setting up a normal build over here and no air from either player as of yet it may not even happen sometimes air is just completely forgotten about on this map alrighty then looks like we have an early advance from Lex talk he's going to try to bludgeon things to death with his ACU ACUs are always very powerful in early combat even more so on this map because he uh, when you have an area this small and you can run up this quickly, you can surprise the enemy base and do a ton of damage before he can even do anything to respond. And here we see a mobile artillery taking out that mass extractor, laying down an anti-air turret, and you may say, why is that? And that is because he is versus Cybern and he does not want to get surprised by a Jester or Seven. That is a uh, very cheese tactic that unfortunately gets used a lot, but I guess fortunately because it comes with great hilarity. Now over here on Red Viper, we're seeing an upgrade. That is the gun upgrade, heavily assisted by three engineers, and Lextock is rapidly closing in on the base with the many, many tanks and artillery that come with building this many land factories. Question is, can Red Viper get this gun upgrade online before he loses too much of his stuff. He actually did go for the early Tech 2 to build Hoplites. Probably going for Tech 2 coupled with Gun and Stealth in order to outrage everything that Lextock had in the early game. He can plug up the gap with his ACU, kill all of the tanks to protect his Hoplites, and then fire with the Hoplites at range to kill stuff. But Lobos are now an issue. That T2 factory was a bad investment. It is about to die. And there it goes. And Red Viper does get his gun upgrade done. And that is a full health ACU with gun versus slow firing mobile artillery and an unupgraded commander. This is doomsday scenario right here. I don't think Lextock has enough units. Although he did throw down a point defense, why I will never know. And he does have substantially more eco with the ability to stream in as many units as he wants really. And we're seeing a lot of mass stall, but hopefully he can snag some reclaim and he's getting the majority of the mass extractors as well. Building power here. We do have power storage. Red Viper does have overcharge available to him and is abusing it. Looking at his power counter right here. And 5k. Gonna pull an overcharge at some point. And nope. Yep, there it was. Killed one measly tank with it though. So sad. He's going to have to fall back though because we are seeing a large quantity of tanks and artillery moving in with Lex Stox's calm. Now versus a gun commander, these are going to have a... Oh, that would be a beautiful overcharge right there. I would be so happy if that got hit. 
I would get like seven kills right there, but no, it's not gonna happen. Red Viper getting cornered. Force to the back, Lex Talk advancing. He has 7,500 health versus 85 on Red Viper's ACU, but a couple of good overcharges and some uh, good use of the gun there, and that is that. Before this tank died, it did kill his last engineer though, so Red Viper has no engineers, no factories, only his ACU, so he's gonna have to get this factory online ASAP. But he is pursuing Lextock, trying to beat back that commander, do as much damage as possible, and get him to move away. We've got 35 kills on this ACU so far, 36, 37, and counting. Uh, yes, 37, there we go. Um, so that is one vet, little extra regen, thousand extra health, and he is going to assist that factory, get it back online, and hopefully he can get some engineers out on the field to reclaim some of this beautiful mass, of which Lexstock is already partaking. He does have 2400 reclaim in the bag, reclaiming with three engineers, and progressing into the base. Red Viper has only reclaimed 1300 but I think that number is about to skyrocket. He is currently at half the reclaim of Lextock. Lextock throwing down a gun upgrade. This is a very good choice at the moment, but it is going slowly. He's pausing it probably due to power problems. Yes, he is. And it's going to continue. All right, Red Viper is doing mop up, forcing these units out of his base, killing off the engineers that are trying to reclaim everything. He's going to overcharge the cannon along with three or four tanks and then begin plowing his way through this army. And probably want to kill that factory as well, so there's not as much build power towards the front. That thing's just gonna keep popping out units and being incredibly annoying. There we go. All right, got four engineers out now, starting power spam. Got his power storage online still. So he is functional. It's gonna continue moving on. All right, let's take a look at Lexstock. Lexstock. He has 23 mass income. He is not upgrading any mechs because usually upgrading a mechs is a death sentence in this map. Oh, another push. Lextock has his gun upgrade finished. There is a point defense. He's going to take out a couple of tanks and then die itself. Red Viper maneuvering away from the ACU. Now this is a gun comp and it has a lot of tanks to back it up, but there is a very large health gap here. And also, Lextock is not anywhere near a veterancy, whereas Red Viper has three vet. That gives him a huge regen advantage on top of having three times as much health as his opponent. All of those tanks have disintegrated. They are no more, although Red Viper lost all of his engineers again. Holy cow. And Red Viper is going to pursue that ACU, knock out the point defense, knock out the radar, and remove this anti-air, I am sure, yes he is. And Lextock is in full retreat. Red Viper gonna clean up these mass extractors. And look, there is very little blue left on the left-hand side. Red Viper is regaining his ground very well. He's bumping up his reclaim ticker a bit. 2K versus 3,700. Still at about half. And I keep saying that it is going to get fixed soon but he keeps building power and other things that he needs more. Now we're finally starting to see land factories going down. I am sure we're going to start seeing Mantis spam in a moment. Possibly... Eh, I doubt he would go for Tech 2 again. Let's see, but we do have Tech 2 for Lextock. He got an Engineer out, and he is building a point defense while being like 400% overdrawn on his mass. <laughs> Hello, Mastal, control king his excess T1 land factories in order to get some reclaim. He is building transports and met marines. Bet you can't guess what's coming next. I smell a ghetto gunship. And we do not have plans for an air factory down here. This is going to be interesting to see how this plays out. These guys, uh, Lextock was complaining about Jesters early in the game and built anti-air to protect from Jesters early in the game. And now we're going to see him resort to ghetto gunships. So this is like the pot calling the kettle black here. 
We've got two loaded up. Looks like he is going for a third one. And now he's stockpiling T1 bombers. Those are going to fly in. We've got two ghetto gunships on this commander. But looksie daisy, we've got a Tech 2 HQ. An immediate halt put on the tanks coming out, and he is building a mobile flak for all he's worth, pulling in every bit of assistance that he has. There is the banger running his ACU to the flak. One barrage from this flak, and that is going to disintegrate. And there it is. Transports are now empty. ACU is safe. Gonna rack up the kills on that flak, and now the flak can take care of all the T1 bombers. Red Viper. Uh, surviving with 6,400 health versus 62 on Lexstock. We're looking at a roughly even situation ACU-wise, but there are a lot of units that Lexstock has. A lot of units and not many combat units for the Red Viper. He has two flak, he has a couple of Medusa, and now he's building Vipers of all things. Luckily, Red Viper does have some convenient wall sections laying around, which is going to bottleneck unit progress allowing him to land a couple of overcharges and just generally mutilate that force that was incoming. His health did go down to 3,100, but Lexstock is the same at 3,200. Little bit of trash talk going on, and brilliant! The Viper, firing from plateau to plateau, is going to kill... The Tech 2 Engineer that's building those nasty triads and it is also going to bring these Engineers to a screeching halt. Not going to finish that point defense. Red Viper regening 39 so far, 37 on Lexdox Com. You can see the advantage in regen from 4 Veterancy. Red Viper has one more vet to look forward to and he only needs one kill to get it. So that's gonna be another 1k health, a couple k of healing, and is generally going to make his ACU very, very, very hard to kill. Lextock, on the other hand, took some Vipers to the face and he is now at 2k health. This is a problem. Red Viper will have a total of about 7,000 health by the time he kills that single unit. I think he could feasibly walk up and just murder Lexstock's comm, but he is going to wait. He's going to get the stealth upgrade. That is going to allow him to close range on the T2 point defense without actually taking fire. And he is building rhinos at the moment. Almost all of his eco going into these rhinos. I think we are preparing for an overrunning of the ACU. Got scouts flying over. That is somewhat going to negate this. And will we have a attack launcher over here? That is interesting. What are we going to be firing at? Firing cycle number one. Headed over towards the base. No T2 mechs to snipe. So I would imagine that's going for the HQ. And yes, it is. I'm going to kill that T2 HQ. We are down to crunch time. If this dies, and there's the second attack. Red Viper is not really going to have anything to recoup with. He is behind on eco, behind on unit count. And not engaging. Still got that one kill to go to a veterancy. Looks like he's going to take the dive. We've got Vipers up on the cliff. Those are immediately going to target the T2 point defense. He's going to take one out easily and begin firing on the others. Red Viper closing in. He is going to get that kill. Here it comes. Walking in. Retarget, buddy. Ah, no. He went directly for the kill. <laughs> Gets the ACU kill for the win on that veteran. He finishes with 5k health and a win under the belt. Very well done, Red Viper. That is, I think, the most beaten down I've ever seen anyone get and come back and win it. He was down to his Hydro two power generators, and an energy storage with two mass extractors. No engineers, no factories, only his gun comp. And he just obliterated everything that Lexstock threw at him. Again, I say, well done, the Red Viper. Alrighty, guys, hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Brilliant play, and... 
I hope that you'll join me for the next cast. As I said last time, I need you guys to send me some replays in the epic category. I need some longer replays. Shoot some my way. I'd be more than happy to enjoy your game and share it with everyone else. And until then, adios, folks.